So, we've officially made it one week with a cast. It has not been easy. Uh, she's walking really fast. She's got to go. But I have to literally have her on a leash because if she has a day that she feels a little bit better, she'll <laughs> run off, whack her cast, and it hurts. So she starts crying. So yeah, it's been fun. See, she's feeling frisky. Her right up there. This is a a medium <clears throat> or a large, but the bottom has a gripper on it. I got this from Chewing. It's a lifesaver because here it. It's waterproof, couple Velcros, it slips on super easy. He just wanted to say hi. He does not want to play chase. But he knows you're injured. But it works great, so it's keeping it dry. Oh, there's Haley. We were supposed to go every Friday, but the first cast didn't even make it to Friday. Um, it made it a few days. <clears throat> and then there's like a metal scoop that holds the foot was popping out at the bottom and every time she walked she cried so we had to bring her right back in so you gotta keep her under wraps um so the first one literally lasted like three or four days <coughs> but the good part is we didn't have to sedate her she sat she was a good girl with me and her regular vet and one of our techs she sat and let us redo her cast, no sedation, where they had to um, sedate her before just for x-ray. So and Cheddar will come up and say hi to you. Hi, Chad. Stay still. Cheddar will say hi. Good girl, Benson. Hi, little man. So she's getting, <clears throat> she's getting smarter. She knows if she sits still, the kitties will come to her. This is little Cheddar, our youngest kitten. But they all normally come out. I didn't see his mummy yet. Say hi, kitty. What a good girl. Here's the, th the little terrors. Hmm. We left a shovel in our area. Be nice. That's how we get hurt. Because we play too rough. They're so cute. I love to play. But this is how... Benny, got a broken leg. I'm playing, horsing around. Can we see your babies? Can we see if you have babies? Huh. Are you recording? Yes. So we're looking today to see if Nala has puppies. So I'm putting it on her belly. And it's really not sitting the best way, but... I'm trying to get it. There's a puppy right there. They're really small still because she's not too far along. Let me see if I can depth uh, that little circle. Let me see if I can get a good shot. Up, oh, there's a puppy. That's her bladder because she hasn't gone out to go potty yet. It looks full. That's a puppy right there beside her bladder. Uh, there's another one up beside her bladder. Try to get some good pictures of her. So she is pregnant. Just try to get a clear picture out here. Maybe I should have let her go to the bathroom first because she looks like she's got a full bladder. So I'm going to let her go in the bathroom and then let her come back in. Welcome back. Okay, we're back. So I was fre freezing a little bit because she's standing up. Freezing, I was just freezing this thing so you could actually see the puppies. Let's see. 
I just had a good one of you. Oh, there's a good one right there. Wait a minute. She's moving around. See the sacks? She keeps moving. Oh, still. You can sit down. Yeah, you can sit down. Sit down, Mama. Sit. Sit down, Nolly. Good girl, now. Oh. Not looking that. Not looking. Yeah. All right. So there. There's a puppy. See it in the sack. There's another puppy in the sack. There's an. But you can see it like perfectly in there. Moving around. What a good girl. Um, so you can actually see because she's moving around like a little bee. And she's not. A heck of a far along so you really have to hunt but here's one puppy two puppies and you can see a third one up here so it looks like she has a regular size litter we don't have a, just a singleton in there so therefore that tells me that pedestrian machine was dead on she had one natural tie on the day that she needed to and we got it done Hurley did right she said I don't know so she's sitting. It's the morning time, so we're just feeding her. She's sitting with her dad. She's Nala is a sweet love. She really is. She has uh, more of her dad, I think, Farley. position, Farley. Ebby can be a little standoffish, but Nala, as you can tell, is definitely not. Are you going out to go potty this morning? I know you by yourself. Not. Yeah, she said, I'm not feeling it, Ma. Yeah. So Cheska is now in heat too, so she's not going out with, she either goes out with her mom, Nala. Nala is the one that we just confirmed being pregnant with our ultrasound. She can go out with Fiona. Um, she normally goes out with her dad. Uh, I know, sweet girl, but she's in heat, so we don't do that. Hey, sassy britches. You see her? She's telling you what to do. Tell her. Tell her. Yes. That's your grandma. Yeah, that's your great grandmother because her mother, Nala, is Fiona's granddaughter, so that's her great granddaughter. Huh. Huh. So I have to take blood and do pedestrian, but she just started this week, so I usually wait a little bit and then start the pedestrian testing to find out when to breed her. Uh, we do have. Oh, you're going to give Grandma Fiona a kiss. We do have plans to breed her with Hurley, but we it, everything is kind of chaotic at our house right now with having um, Benson in a cast for another three whole weeks. That's going to be killer for us. Um, but So we'll see. But that is, that is who we were planning on using is Hurley. They would have tan points. I have had her color tested. Her dad is Diesel. He's a tan point showing. I've had her color tested. She does carry tan point. So her and Hurley, Hurley is not a showing tan point, even though a lot of people think, think he is because it looks like it, but he does carry tan point also. So these two together would produce tan points. So that's the reason why we wanted to use him. Plus he's, he's getting up there in age and, but he still can pull it off. Are you going to go out for potty break or Fiona will go out with you. Come on, Nolly. Cheska. I can't remember who I even have here. You want to go out and go potty? Is you playing with Grandma Fiona? She doesn't like going out by herself. So she'll just sit in an air and hang with Fiona. You already had breakfast, chubby. Hi, did you guys hear the news? You're going to be grandparents. Yeah, you're going to be grandpa again. All right, Bobby's got to get you fed. Hi, Abigail. I know. You ready for breakfast? Need your ear meds, huh? Been battling an ear infection with Ebby. Ah, oh, happy girl. You happy girl. Rubbing your back on your couch. Yeah. Yes. 
What? Oh. What? Oh. Jessica, I forgot to show you what we got. We got a surprise for everybody. I order the Chewy Box for Halloween every year because we, we really like it. And, um, who doesn't like a goodie? Who doesn't like a goodie? So I, what I, I sometimes actually order two, but this year I only got one. Um, we've been swamped with vet bills. Yeah, because uh, Benson. So this year it came with some kind of a book. Oh, a candle. That looks like it's from Beauty and the Beast, a book and the candle. I could be wrong. Fiona, what do you think? Please gets a toy. Oh, look at that. It's a soft, quilly boot book. I bet you Farley would love that. He takes care of his stuff. Oh, and it's like a candle. Cute for haunted. Haunted, haunted. Oh, oh, another toy. Look at that. That's cute, too. Yeah. What do you think of that? So that's, that's another toy. So a lot of toys in this one. Oh, here comes Chuck. And it's an, oh, another toy. Silica pack. A little bat. Fiona, you don't even like toys. She said, where's the snacks? Hi, yes. She doesn't want to go out. She'd rather give you a hug. Looking at what we got for goodies for the... Oh my goodness, Fiona, these are tiny. Berry yogurt flavor. Tiny bites, mini bites. They're mini, all right. Yeah, she's giving you kisses. Oh, we got spooktacular snack. Honey eyed apple and cinnamon. Just a little bit of treats, mostly toys. She didn't want to go out. She said, don't, don't make me go. Yeah, I think because she doesn't want to go out by herself. Oh, they, they put her out yeah, I didn't even think of it. Would you like to try a treat? Lazy dog. Oh, hmm. You can relate, huh, Fiona? She's not gonna now. I got treats out. Spectacular snacks. Everybody's gotta have one. Doesn't look like there's many in here. Oh, Fiona, what do you use it approved? Yeah, she said she like. She's all right with that. She says pretty good, ma. Lots of toys for our little youngsters. Would you like a toy? Huh? You can have one. You can have a toy. You're a youngster. And those are our little youngsters. Some of them are good with toys and some of them like to destroy them. Farley is great with toys. Nala is great with toys. But we'll have to divvy up the toys. Fiona says she just wants to divvy up the, the treats. Huh. Let's just see those are the treats over there, Mom. Are you being sassy to Cheska? Yeah, are you? Are you waiting for another treat? We gotta share with everybody and that we didn't get a lot of treats in this one. And Mom only bought one. Sorry, Queenie. So she has her Halloween bandana on and so does uh <laughs> Eva. She don't care. She got kind of a chubby neck, so. Want to try the other ones, Fiona? Mmm, berry yogurt. That's the Inescubal. They're tiny <laughs> for little dogs, I think, but she's willing to try it. You like them? Blueberry. Yeah. So that's our little Halloween stuff. We'll have to get the toys out to the ones that are actually good with toys. Happy Halloween, Fion. She could care less. She just said, show me them treats. Show me them treats, ma. Are you two to be playing? Jessica's playing with uh, Grizzly. She is in heat. So, they're frolicking. Grizzly's trying to coax her into being his buddy. He's so sweet. He's already out of breath from running around playing with her. She loves him though. Yeah. <laughs> He's so 